Hi, I'm George Cow, and today I'm going to introduce Danielle Gardner, who is a messaging and marketing mentor, and she has a brief presentation on how to create offers that are more likely to generate sales. Enjoy. Hi, Danielle. Hey, George. Uh, thank you very much. I am going to get straight into this little presentation. I'm just going to share my screen here. All right. Okay. So, um, yeah, so this little presentation is about creating offerings that are more likely to generate sales. So there's two big challenges that we face in business. And one of them is creating offerings that generate clients. Because lots of us can create offerings out of our own initiative and things like that. And, you know, they can kind of land flat. Um, and the other big challenge is building an audience that is receptive to our offerings. So I am using this four part messaging process to address those two challenges. So this is the, what I call the message organizer template. And this is really good at just giving an aerial view at what the actual four parts are. So um, part one is an overarching statement that describes how you help people. Now that in itself is obviously a bit of a task. Um, so I'm not going to go into exactly how you might do that right now. Uh, but part number two, and you need to have part one, actually, you have to have to have something there in order to move on to part two, because part two looks at the challenges people face in pursuit of the outcomes that are in your overarching statement. And I'm going to give you an example, my example in just a moment. Part three is looking at the help that your audience needs from their perspective to have the outcomes in your overarching statement. So, you know, everything keeps looking back to the overarching statement in part one. And then part four is, I love this part. You can have a lot of fun with this. It's, um, it's fleshing out what you stand for in business or in life and what you stand against. Um, so the way this works is you kind of work down the part, the, each part. And then when you share, especially when you create content um, that is in response to part three and part two, you're sharing through this lens of what you stand for in your business and in life. And that's what makes your content and offerings really interesting and unique to you. So, all right. So this is... Um, the first sort of half page of my own message organizer. So I wanted to show you what it looks like when it is fleshed out, when there is something, um, some data in here. So you'll see that up the top I've got, the message organizer is a structure from which you can create content that grows your audience and offerings that people can justify buying. And I just, I like to mention this justify buying because we all have to justify any purchase that we make in our own life. And if we analyze our own purchasing decisions, if we can't justify it straight away, we delay that purchase or we don't make it at all. So really our job um, in our businesses is to help people to be able to more easily justify um, spending their money with us. Um, so, and this process really helps with that. So you'll see in my um, overarching statement, I have, I help practitioners and coaches articulate, articulate their message, market with quiet confidence, and grow their business without having to be online all the time. And then in part two, I'm looking to that overarching statement. I'm fleshing out um, what do people face in pursuit of those outcomes. So it's very much channeling through your client's eyes, not through like, what you think or what I think, you know, we, cause often we, we can know what people want, but they don't know that yet. So we're not going to sort of focus on this um, in, in the messaging process. Um, I mean, what I mean by that as well is these, see all of these points. So like we've got feeling pressure to generate a six figure business early. This becomes a lead into a piece of content. So these, by fleshing these points out, it allows us to meet people where they're at and then take them on a journey, you know? So I'm gonna show you some examples of how that works as well. But keep in mind, as I'm showing you these points, they all become 
the idea is that you, you write a piece of content that speaks to each of these points. Now under part two, I actually have 11 points. You're not going to see them all here, but um, so that would be automatically 11 pieces of content in relation to those points. All right. So it's speaking to the message organizer and this is what is creating fertile soil for an offer to actually be inserted in. So part three, um, you know, is, as I said, it's the help that they need from their perspective. And again, it's like this matter of fleshing it out. It's a matter of getting into how they think. Now, if you've got no idea, then you obviously need to do market research and things like that. But as a starting point, if you just kind of take off your hat for a moment and put on, like, channel them, you, you are much more able to um, come up with statements that are talking about how they are seeing the world right now. And all right, and part four. Um, so this is a little bit of what mine looks like. Again, it's a little bit longer, um, but you know, what do I stand against? Spending hours on social media in the name of business building. And then the, the opposite of that, what do I stand for? Um, business practices that allow for less time online. So, you know, it goes through, there's some interesting things there and they become the lens through which I share what I'm doing. So what can you do with this information? Um, well, the first thing is you can grow your audience by creating content that speaks to those individual items. So let's have a quick look at what that looks like. So here's an example piece of content here that I did recently. See how in the first line it has Growing an email list is a pretty hot topic right now. And it really is. That's what I noticed. I mean, it's always talked about, of course, um, but it just seemed to be particularly, you know, people were, you know, talking about that Leone, is it Leone Dawson email and that kind of thing. So I've meeting people where they're at and then I'm taking them on a journey, giving them my perspective, my journey. Um, and, you know, just picking up on what George was saying as well, What's happening in these kind of posts, like my approach and the, pro the approach I teach is it is about feeling. It's actually about validating. Because if you read through this, I actually share some really interesting things that really validated people. They're like, oh, right. Yeah. So I don't have to sort of hurry up and be panicked about this, you know. And I think that's a lot of what we're doing in marketing. We're in the business of kind of validating people and at the same time kind of showing them a new way or kind of challenging their thinking in, in, a, in a nice kind of way. I was, oh, there was just this one more I wanted to show you. This one, um, Steph, my client, she started this by saying, why I no longer help my students with motivation. And that did really, really well. It actually got read out at a police station staff meeting um, because, you know, even though it's to do with horses and you'd have to have a look at it to sort of get, understand why, but she ended up getting two clients from that because she really shared her opinion, her perspective. And um, so it gave her a lot of exposure. So the second thing you can do with this information in, and the Mo is the message organizer, right? So that's what the Mo stands for, is the second thing is that you can craft offerings based on those themes. So I don't know why this is a little bit fiddly today. There we go. So this is the other template that I'm now using, which I'm just calling the offer template. And I'll run through you how it works quickly. So you have whatever your offer is, like the name of the offer. Then you've got an overarching statement. Now this can be taken from part one of your message organizer. I'm going to show you my example in a moment. It's an offer about messaging. So I'm, I've only used sort of the, the messaging part of my overarching statement. And then there's, you know, I'm suggesting that you share a bit of a, a paragraph um, that provides a vision for, you know, why this is helpful. And then it's broken down into these couple of little sections. Like, um, so the name of the offer was created to help solve these challenges. Now you refer back to your part two. It actually becomes a little bit of a cut and paste in fact, I was doing one for a client yesterday. I, I cut and pasted her entire part two, and then I just took away anything that wasn't relevant to that particular offer and, you know, reworded it and, you know, so it flowed nicely. Um, but it, it 
it's a lot of fun to actually use um, this template in this way and with the message organizer. The next part is, um, you know, the offer, this offer will help you, whatever the name of the offer will help you with, you refer to part three, all right? So it, part three is all of those things that they believe they need help with. And so just to show you an example of that, Here's my one, it says articulate your message, a process for creating content that grows your audience and offerings that generate sales. I've got my little um, vision kind of statement there. And then I go into articulate your message was created to help solve these challenges. So it just works really nicely. The second part of this, or the bottom part of this template goes into, you know, you can look at saying something like how to gauge if we would work well together or, how to know if this is a, a good offer for you or something like that. And you can look at part four of your message organizer and in, you know, what are the bits in there that need to be bought over? And then I've just got this suggested layout. So this works really well as, you know, really just a starting point. Um, some people might want to have their offer page a lot longer and I'll get to that in just a tick. But this is just that last point, that the last part of what's actually on my website. So you can see kind of this process in action. So now that you've seen this messaging system, you might be thinking that you would like some additional support in clarifying and fleshing out your message so that you can have this content that will grow an audience. And in doing that, you'll actually feel more confident about marketing yourself, more confident about being visible and showing up online. And of course, this system also shows you how to create offers that people can justify buying. So if you would like some additional support with that, I invite you to join George Cow and I in the message building system, which is a four week class. Now, let me give you a brief overview of what's covered in this class. In class one, we're finding a focus for your content by exploring your past and how life has equipped you to help others or to mentor others. In class two, we're going to identify specific content pieces that you'll need to create to build your audience. In class three, we're going to explore your point of view how you view the world so that you can create content through that lens and that will make your content uniquely different. And in class four, you'll be given a process for creating offers based on this messaging system that people can justify buying. And you'll also be given a simple content creation plan, which is really um, a plan that will help you implement what you learn in this course. So I really hope to see you as part of this course. Um, the details of how to enroll are below this video. This is Danielle Gardner. Thank you for watching.